Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is TJ, and I am the student and engaged pastor here at Area 10 Faith Community. And I just wanted to welcome you and also thank you for joining us as we are in day two of our 40 days of prayer. And today's prayer time is going to be based out of a scripture that's been really close to my heart. In fact, my wife read this to me just a few days ago, and I was like, babe, you got to highlight that, screenshot it, and send it to me because I need this right now. And I found it so encouraging in a time of kind of stress and, and anxiety, and I was like, I need this. And I hope this and our time of uncertainty can be an encouragement to you as well. And so this passage comes from Deuteronomy uh, chapter 31, and Moses is about to kind of initiate his successor, Joshua, to take over his role as leader of Israel as they're about to head into the promised land. And there's a lot of uncertainty before them. There's a lot of unknowns. And I think we can kind of relate to that in our season. And that's just being real. And even in the midst of all this uncertainty for us, I don't want to focus on that because I think we can acknowledge that it's real, that it's here, that there's uncertainty, but there are some things that are very certain. And that is that God is with us, that God is present, that he loves us and he's for us. And I am encouraged by that because of this text that speaks that same thing as Moses speaks to Joshua here in verse eight. And it says this, it says, the Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. This is the same God. This is not an Old Testament God or some old, like, this is the same God today as he was yesterday and how he will be tomorrow. This is the same God that we worship and praise in the midst of uncertainty. Last year, at the end of last year, we did a series called Unseen, acknowledging that God is an unseen God. He, he, we don't see him as you are seeing me right now even, but we see his fingerprints all over our world and all over our lives. God is moving. God is still with us. And we can be certain of that and hopefully find encouragement and hope in that. And so that is my prayer for us today. And so if you would, close your eyes, maybe unless you're driving or something, don't do that. But close your eyes and bow your head with me and, and let's just go to God in prayer. Let's do that. <sighs> Heavenly Father, thank you for being with us. Thank you for giving us this encouraging word that was spoken so long ago. And although it was to a different people group, you are the same God who speaks those words over to us today. God, even in the midst of uncertainty, we can be certain that you are with us, that you are beside us, that we are not alone, that we are loved and cared for by you. Help us to trust. Help us to look for the little ways that you are moving behind the scenes. God, you are so present in our lives, and sometimes it's hard for us to see that. Give us eyes to see. Help us feel your presence. And when we begin to worry and anxiety begins to creep in, let us be reminded that is not from you. And Lord, that you are with us and you give us peace. Help us find that peace and find that joy in this time. We love you and we lift all this up and all our worries up to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.